when boxing was a dominant sport for the last generation anyway, it was because of Mike Tyson. That's right. And I heard Iron Mike almost made a cameo in this. Is that, <laughs> is that true? <laughs> you know, I tried to get Mike Tyson in the movie. But I not just tried, you were close to him. I tried more than that. I, yeah, I went, so I heard, I got wind that he was in China as an ambassador to boxing. He got paid a whack load of money to spend three days promoting boxing in the city of Tianjin. Yeah. I packed up my bags with my crew and a small puppy that I had found. We camped out in the, ho in the hotel lobby, this five-star luxury hotel, for three days. Elevator doors open, out comes Mike Tyson and his entourage. And they're walking past us through the lobby and we're expectantly kind of waiting, is he gonna come to us? And he hears my dog, Laji, barking. And Laji's yelping away. He immediately stops, walks towards us, and I've got my little puppy in my hand, and he starts batting him, you know, with his hand, and he's talking about this his beautiful... His enormous hand. His enormous hand, yeah. he's batting this puppy around, I'm like, wow, it was Mike Tyson. And, and Tyson was saying, like, you know, what a beautiful dog. I don't know if I should do an impression of him or not. I think you should. I don't see why you wouldn't. Now, maybe I'll attempt it, but if the audience boos, then I will stop. They won't boo. Look, he, you're an artist. You're not going <laughs> to boo an artist. I say go for it. So Mike Tyson took my puppy, and he was like, there's such a cute puppy. Oh, my God, this puppy is so beautiful. And, and you know, and he said, and he said, and, and I took this as my opportunity. Yeah. You know, Mike, I'm making a documentary about boxing. Will you come and sit down with us and take a look at some footage? And he was so supportive of the footage he was seeing in the film. He felt that, uh, you know, he grew up in, in hardship as well. And he could see the mirror of what these boys were going through, these tobacco farming boys uh, picked out of obscurity to become boxing champions. And uh, he could connect to it. Now, he never got involved with the film. So he just got him walked away? Did he take your dog? He didn't take the dog, okay. luckily. You know, as, a, as an artist or as a filmmaker, do you think it's important or is it in any way part of your, uh, your obligation to tell the story for the people who don't have the voice, to be the voice for the voiceless? And most definitely an important, for me, what drives my filmmaking is the need to tell uh, stories, uh, human stories, uh, growing up uh, in a small town, growing up as a, perhaps a bit of an outcast. Uh, I think that I have a certain sensitivity to uh, people that are uh, uh, going through trouble.